Hi right, everybody, it's Poppy. I hope you can hear me. I built another lead motor. This time I added a transistor. Yeah, I add a little bit of punch to it. I built a coil with two windings on it. The first one I'm using is a run winding and the second one is exactly the same wire. I'm using it as a generator coil and then there's my homemade reed switch again. And I'm using one battery to run it of course. And then I've also got my little voltage doubler on there. I measured the uh, AC coming out of the coil and it was roughly 6 volts AC. And when I hooked it up to the voltage doubler, it jumped up to a little over 100 volts. And this has been running since 4 to 30. I started out at 12.4 volts, it is now 12.3 volts, and it's about an hour and a half. Hour and a half and it dropped 0.1 volts, and I do have the uh, voltage doubler connected back to the run battery. So I've got the run battery coming through the transistor, through the reed switch, through the coil. And of course, back to the other side of the battery. So there we have it. Three switch motor, one transistor, and it's a TIP 42, which is a PNP. It's not an NPN transistor. And there we go, 12.3 on it jumped up a little bit. And I'm going to let this thing continue to run to see what it does. But that's my little reed switch motor with a transistor. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I've got a uh, ceramic capacitor attached across the run coil. And there is absolutely, positively no spark. I think the transistor and the capacitor are smoothing the voltage enough that we don't get the big sparks off of the uh, reed switch. And yes, I did try a professional reed switch and it wouldn't even start running before the thing melted down wouldn't work anymore. Evidently 12 volts is too much for the reed switches I have. Thanks for watching. Good experimenting.